you know, one of the toughest things to do is to bounce back when you've lost a job. You know, right now what's going on in the economy, there are a lot of people that have been in a situation for 5, 10, 15, 20 years, and all of a sudden they've got a call, they've got a letter to let them know the job is changing, and their whole way of living for the past couple of years from um, standard of living, job, career, all that stuff has changed. And I just want to give you guys my plan to help you bounce back when you've lost a job, okay? The first thing I want you to do is, and I know it's difficult, but to focus more on what you need to be doing as opposed to what happened to you. Focus more on what you need to be doing as opposed to what happened to you. Because a lot of times we have those kind of situations pop up. We dwell so much on what happened. I can't believe they did this and this and that is going on. It clouds our minds in regards to how we need to think forward and plan on what we need to do going forward. You're going to feel bad. You're going to be shocked. You're going to be hurt. But you can't change that. What has happened has happened. But what you can change is what? and create what you're going to do in the future. So again, try your best and you have to do this because again, once time is spent, we can't get it back and we need to use all the time we got focusing on what we need to be doing. So number one, again, focus less on what's happening to you, focus more on what you need to do. The next thing is, I want you to sit down, get yourself in a good spot, right? And just think about all the skills, all the experiences, all the gifts that you have that people will pay for. Okay? You've been a manager, you've been a creator, you've been a developer, you've been all these different things that you know that people be willing to pay for. Okay, now listen, we're doing a straight listing. I don't want you to oh, you know, stop yourself to think about what you did at this day or that time. Just start thinking about the different skills that you've done that, that you know that people will pay for. Okay? And a lot of us we never stop and think about it because if you've been in a situation for a while, you've been doing it so selflessly, you're not even thinking about this is a skill that I have or a talent that I have that somebody else will really just, you know, break the neck to get a hold of. And that's what happens a lot of time. We've been, you know, situations like that, complacently say saying, and you forget how valuable you are. So, but I want you to sit down and make that list of all the skills and experience that you have that you know people will pay for. Okay. The third thing is map out what you want to do against what is available. Now, what I mean by that is we have the things we want to do. You look at all those skills you have, and you're sitting down looking at it. And then you go to any kind of job board, you know, LinkedIn, Career Builder, all these different other indie, and just look at what's available. And we want to start doing some kind of matching, okay? Of course, we want to get a job. Of course, we want to get employed. But what we're trying to do is try to match up exactly where your skills set falls in in terms of what's available because a lot of times people go out looking for jobs and they'll put in certain things and they had this broad you know perspective because you did broad perspective in regards to what industry you worked in and you did work in finance you did work in security you did work in banking you did work in lending you did work in, you did that but again let's look at those premium skills and talents that you have and try to match them up with what's available out there and I think once we start looking at matching up those, those opportunities and matching up those things that you have in regards to what is available, that'll help us out in the long run because, again, you just lost something. And I understand that just shook your whole way of thinking and your world up and everything. But, again, do we really want to just go into another situation where we're just trying to settle for anything? Now, I understand the whole point of it is if you have a loss of income, you need to replace it. I get it. But be very, very careful with that, too. I can't sit here because I don't know your money situation, income situation, rather, to say, hey, this don't take any kind of job. But I will say this, be very, very smart because, again, you rushing to get employed and you put yourself in a situation that you want to get out of because you kind of were nervous is a very stressful situation because now you got employment, you really hate being there, but you felt you had to get a job and everything to, 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 to start your income back up. But now you're in a situation you really can't take off and look for other employment because it just wasn't a good situation. You really didn't think it out at first. So what I will say, just sit down and try to navigate in regards to that skill set because, again, we do want to get employment, right? But we do want to get paid for the skills we had. And, again, a lot of those skills we didn't think about, promote, or I don't want to say cherish, but really just put enough time and effort thinking about it before. So I want you guys to make sure that we're matching up in regards to those skill sets that you do have 
in regards to what's available out there right now, okay? And then from the, the next step I want you to do, just start applying for them. Be, start applying for them, looking at what's matched up and everything. Uh, try to kind of find that little, you know, those parameters will say, hey, listen, I did some of that. I didn't do some of that. And I always kind of remember, you don't have to do something one time to have experience with it, okay? One time. You don't have to sit here and do it over time. Just one time experience of managing somebody. One time of, of dealing with this particular software. You have experience with it, okay? And lastly, I want you guys to be very confident and aggressive in your search, okay? Again, I understand the, the disappointment and the trauma that comes with losing your job. It's happened to me several times, so I understand totally. But again, we have to, we're have to. we going to a new beginning, a new chapter in our life, but I want you guys to stay aggressive and stay super confident with doing that, okay? And I think if you stick with that, now are you going to find exactly the dream job or the job that you always wanted? Eh, maybe. We don't know. But we do know if you don't sit here and stop dwelling on what happened, and, and start moving forward, we know nothing's going to happen. We're going to be bitter. We're going to be mad. We're going to be sad. And we can't let that empower us, okay? So I want you guys to just, you know, dust it off. Feel bad for a few minutes, for a couple hours, maybe a day at most. But after that, start focusing on what you need to do as opposed to what's happened to you, okay? Hey, listen, guys. Hope that informa information helped you. Make sure you can check out more information, more videos just like this one on my YouTube channel, Change Lives, hosted by yours truly, Deontay Burton, where we talk about motivation, personal development, and professional development. Take care of you guys, and listen, most importantly, also, check out my, my show, The Stream uh, Live, every Thursday at 8 p.m. And listen, to stay abreast of more information, more videos like that, hit that blue man in the bottom right-hand corner. Take care.